Thank you for watching another Shiba Technologies flyover. So this is the Legato project, aka Fleming Ranch in Menifee. This is on the east side of the 215 between McCall to the south and Encanto to the north. Now, if you notice those little flags on the bottom right that just went off screen, this flight is in wind conditions I normally don't like to fly under. But it's been so hot, I just haven't been able to get out and fly. But I just, today was the coolest that it's been, today being August 17th. We finally had a day where it wasn't practically 100 degrees by noon. So this is just afternoon uh, on August 17th, as I mentioned, Saturday. Winds are gusting up to 20 miles an hour. They're sustained around 12 more than I normally like, hotter than I normally like, but it's been almost two months since I've flown and a lot has happened, so I just couldn't wait to get out there, even though I didn't really care for the heat or the wind. So the last flight, this was dirt, all dirt, except for those houses to the left. And I had opined at the time, I bet you the road's gonna go in soon. So not even a week after I made that statement or flew and posted that video, they went in and they paved to this road. So that road is an east to west road called Rouse. The existing road there at the right side of the screen is Antelope, where that car just went through the intersection of what will be Rouse and Antelope. Actually it already is. This road is now open. So at first it was all fenced off uh, for about a week or two after my last video that I flew. So they paved it, the fences were up. A few weeks later, those fences got moved over, but they had barricades, so you still couldn't use the road. And then more recently they went in and they put all of the striping and markings for the different lanes. So you can see that this is gonna eventually be a four lane road with wide enough shoulder area that you could have a bike lane. I believe this section is supposed to have a bike lane and it's supposed to be a bike lane that's wider than normal because it's supposed to allow both carts and bicycles to be in the bike lane. So carts in residential roads in the city of Menifee, you know, the golf carts what I'm talking about, um, are allowed in certain areas. So I don't have the, the plans in front of me for the circulation, but I do remember parts of this development are going to allow the use of golf carts. Um, but once you get close to the mortuary, which is now to our left and off camera, they, they won't be allowed over in that section, at least not from the plans that I saw. Now this flight, you're gonna notice I'm doing a lot of more panoramic movements. Not sure why I did this, it wasn't a conscious decision. I'm not a big fan of how I flew today. Like I said, it was just mostly to get out there get some flying time in, some stick time, get the bugs, the jitters, the butterflies, the willies, um, and just to see what they've been doing. They've done, they've done a lot of work since June. I'll admit, like nine or 10 months ago, I was thinking, oh, this is just gonna be a mosquito farm for a long time. Well, they are proving me wrong. So this road eventually should be four lanes all the way um, from Encanto, which is that road parallel to the 215, over to Antelope. This is gonna be a large intersection uh, in the middle of that development. You can see the walls are going in, the cinder block walls. And again, this is where Dawson um, intersects with Rouse. So now we're looking back towards the west. The ocean is way off in the distance over those valleys. You can see that they've moved the fences um, in certain spots, not quite right here where we are now, but you'll see it a little bit farther on. You can see that they've been putting in the utilities such as the sewer, the water pipes, the storm water management systems. Speaking of storm water, there's a retention area right there to the bottom left of the screen. This is gonna be Sherman Road. So this will be the very middle of the project. Anything to the left will be called uh, Village West. Anything to the right will be Village East. Now, the, originally when I flew this, I had wanted to fly a lot lower and I wanted to go screaming along this wall because I really admire the craftsmanship and the engineering that goes into making 
a wall this long look this good. I don't know. I'm just a geek when it comes to um, some stuff like this. I think it looks really cool and that takes a lot of talent and you really got to know what you're doing. A homeowner would be very pressed to make a wall this long, this straight. So you can see that the walls actually progressed quite a bit farther than you can see from any of the roads around it, whether it's in Canto or Rouse. And this again is going to be the first phase that's going to open up. Now this side being the south side, this will probably get the houses built last, at least part of if you read their phasing plan with the city, this section goes in last at the other end, the north end, those homes go in first. The wall comes all the way around. I think that wall is eventually going to go all the way across because that doesn't look to be a roadway that's going to tie into Chambers Avenue. Chambers Avenue is uh, east-west and would be behind us at this point. It's over by where the uh, nursing home currently is located. So now we're going to fly back towards the north. One other thing I would guess is they've got multiple crews working on these uh, walls. So you can see at multiple spots, there's a good chunk that's completed and there's a good chunk that uh, you can tell they're currently working on and caps go on last. So you can see all the stormwater concrete piping there we just flew over. And then you can see most typically they put uh, those pipes down where the middle of the streets are going to be. So the area that's got the black plastic with the stakes that should be where the houses are going to be and then the areas in between those are going to be the roads at this point you can see they don't typically do work on saturdays but you can tell there was a crew out today that was putting down some of the pipe the water i believe is to mitigate dust you know, as they're moving dirt around with heavy machinery, it's going to kick up a lot of dust. And so that water uh, is going to do several things. A, it's going to change the way that the dirt packs. So it'll help with compaction. But also, if you keep it moist, then less of it's going to fly up into the air. It impact the neighboring houses, communities, air quality, whatnot. So now we're flying back towards the west, towards the uh, mortuary. Again, I know I say this a thousand times, but that's Ralph's Road. That's going to be another uh, major roadway entrance coming up to the left. Now I froze here because there's a lot going on here. If you see, they pave the road. As so you can see, that's the full width there where the pavement is the darkest. You can see it's dirt, so they're tying in. They've already tied in up by the um, mortuary. You've got, and I had never noticed this before, but where you see right now those v-shaped uh, aqueducts coming in this whole area is going to be a retention pond i never noticed that before i just assumed most of this was going to be houses no this whole section below us that's not the mortuary this section right here it's going to be all retention so when we have those really really hard downpours this whole area is going to give all of that stormwater uh, space to collect and then kind of a horseshoe up the top right, that's an existing aqueduct that existed earlier going underneath the 215. Now, of course, they added that little horseshoe uh, shape or V um, inlet, but that's going to tie into the existing uh, stormwater management system that the city of Menifee already had. So what you see above and center, the middle of the screen, uh, that's all going to be commercial. Nothing's going on right now. I think a while back I did see them putting uh, some dirt in there. I'm not sure why because obviously they just let the weeds come in afterwards. You can see that they stacked up a bunch of the concrete piping to go in as they uh, dig up where the rows are going to be, bury that pipe and then fill it back in as we saw that crew working on uh, just a few seconds ago. Later on, there's going to be a pool, community center. There's supposed to be like three three acres of parks in the area that we just flew past um, to the right, to the north, that is, that's going to go in eventually. So it'll be exciting to see that part go in. This is their con, uh, construction management, little uh, temporary connex boxes, if you will. 
So we got drinking water piping, we got reclaimed water piping, uh, we've seen sewer, we've seen uh, just about everything. I think I'm forgetting one thing. So at this point, I'm heading back towards where I'm standing because I also forgot my chair. So I'm also not totally comfortable on this flight. I'm a hot mess today. Um, you can tell I was not on top of my game, but at this point, my flying's a little bit smoother. Once again, I'm admiring the wall, taking a look at what they're doing, seeing my local mosquito farm there to the right side of the screen, and I'm gonna land here pretty soon. So this is kind of this is it for the video. So I, I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching. And yes, I come in way higher than I normally do because for whatever reason, I'm just ultra spooked today by the power lines. Like I wanted to be nowhere near. Usually I come in all confident and below the power lines. and uh, But it's so hot, I didn't want to come to the street and look up the street because I didn't want to come in low and then have a car come across me. Um, so I figure I'll just come in high, go past myself, turn around, come down, descend. So that's what we're doing at this point. I've gone past me about probably 60 feet. I'm going to rotate around. Uh, at this point, I'm not looking at the screen on the controller. I'm looking at the drone itself, figuring out what I'm doing, where I'm going. And there's Fat Boy. How rude. Didn't wait for the camera. What's up with that? Coming in hot, checking for cars, make sure I'm not going to trip over my stuff. Especially on camera. That'd be embarrassing. All right, so the gimbal goes back to flat, and as it comes down, so your camera doesn't smack the ground. Props are done. And another safe flight. Appreciate you watching, and to look forward to catching you on the next one. Thanks again. Have a great day.